Anime this year has been crazy. You know, we started off fairly slow in the epic anime department, but it picked up in the fall. Today I'm going through my top 3 favourite anime of the year 2022 since the year is coming to a close. Now guys, this is my list. If you don't like it, fuck right off. But before that, this is your boy Jay on Change, your neighbourhood samurai. And I'm bringing you another video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, hit the bell notification, show your boy some love. I'm trying to get like the big dogs. All right. So sliding into our first epic anime of the year, it has to go to Chainsaw Man. And I know you guys are thinking to yourself, well, I kind of expected that. Well, my reasons for actually liking Chainsaw Man is completely different to maybe the norm. Yeah, it's got crazy epic fights, etc. But for me, the animation has to take the cake. You know and it's made chainsaw man what it is today the animation is superbly beautiful you know it's almost uncanny how beautiful it is you know like there's certain episodes within chainsaw man where they've included extra animation that's not in the manga and it just looks beautiful it's like i can almost watch it you know as like a slice of life show without having all the extras and i would still enjoy it that's when you know an anime is powerful you know when you can actually just embrace what it's offering you where you can appreciate the visual aspect without any story, without any characters, without any OSTs. That's when you know you're really into a show. And on top of that, like I said, the show epic in general. It's got crazy fight scenes. They don't hold back on the blood. And anyone that knows me know I love blood in anime because I'm an old school anime watcher. So you know, anime back in the day, they included a lot of blood. And I feel like Chainsaw Man definitely captivates and captures that essence within the anime series. In addition, like I said, the fights are crazy. I do like the characters, the characters are very likeable, you know, and it's just a breath of fresh air, I feel like personally. The characters are likeable, they're realistic, and they're also relatable. And come on, they don't hold back on the explicit side when it comes to certain things like when Denji finally got to touch some booze and get a first kiss, I was almost rooting for him in real life, you know, which kind of indicates how captivating the anime and his character is because the fact that I'm rooting for you to do these things, it means you've grasped me enough into the story where I want you to progress and move forward, which I feel like is beautiful. Sliding on to our second anime, the year. And this one then he took number one for me, but I just can't put it there. It has to go to Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Guys, this anime, right? It should really be my number one based on the way it made me feel in general. For example, when an anime can make you question, right? What would you do in that situation? When it makes you question your life in general, the routes that you take, the paths that you take, then you know the anime is powerful and like i said i walked into cyberpunk edge runners not really knowing the story of cyberpunk i didn't really understand any part of it you know I, I was just embraced by the world the animation the characters you know you can't not like it if you haven't watched it, you have to go tap into that asap like i said the way the anime made me feel it gave me a funny tingling feeling after i watched each episode i always wanted to know what was going to happen next what was going to happen with my main character what was going to happen with the side characters how does the character progress like Cyberpunk Edge Runners is pure beauty. I can't lie in terms of animation, in fights, in OSTs. How can you not love the OSTs within this show? It captivates you and it engulfs you to the point where you just feel kind of weird after. Like, you don't know how to describe yourself or describe the feeling that you feel after watching it, but you definitely have some sort of weird feeling, you know, and you don't know if you enjoyed the ending or if the ending was perfect. Like, you're almost split between the two. Like, you want the character to reach his goals and gain happiness but at the same time you understand that he did reach his goals and the way it ended was his happiness it's so deep and it makes you question your life your goals your decision and all of that and if you're doing too much for other people or if you're not doing enough for other people and it really makes you think and wonder you know cyberpunk edward is definitely a masterpiece and it's such a short anime but i feel like it didn't even need any more maybe an extra episode or two but apart from that it really didn't need any more. It didn't need to be 50 episodes or 100 episodes long. It was that captivating. It definitely kept me intrigued throughout. And like I said, this would be in the number one spot. But the number one spot has to go to Bleach. Why? Because Bleach is my favorite anime. It's what started me on anime, really. It's the first anime that I watched that I knew was anime. Like, I watched plenty of anime in the past, but I didn't actually know it was anime. I just thought it was like cartoon when I was younger and stuff. Bleach is like my first anime that I fully binged, you know, so it has to go to Bleach. I've been waiting for Bleach's return for over 10 years. Seeing Captain Yamamoto's blade, it set my heart ablaze. You know, it has to go to Bleach. You can almost say I'm a Bleach fanboy. And you know what? I feel like this season of Bleach, in terms of the animation, OSTs, 
and everything about Bleach currently. I feel like it's letting people remember and it's reminding everybody Bleach is greatness, you know. Sometimes within the top three, the big three, Bleach gets lost in the mix in terms of like, you, know, you say Naruto or you say One Piece. And then sometimes people don't have to give Bleach the respect until you start seeing the current episode that you think there's a hold on. This is the reason I love Bleach in the first place. This is that Bleach greatness that like you can't deny the greatness that Bleach has been outputting recently. The episodes have been beautiful. The OSTs, yeah, are the old OSTs, but they've revamped them, which I feel like is perfect. Like sometimes when you change the stuff too much, it doesn't work. In this case, it works well. You know, they use the old OSTs to capture that nostalgic effect, but they also revamped it to have that newish feel. Bleach literally has to take the number one spot this year. You know, and like I said, call me biased. You know, you probably already knew this answer already, but you have to really look at where Bleach has come from, how long it's taken, and the fact that they've really taken their time in producing this beauty of an anime. And I can't lie, I'll be lying if I said to you, yeah, 10 years wasn't long, but seeing the way it's come out in terms of animation, fights, and the way everyone's, you know, running back towards Bleach, I will say this, it was a 10 years well worth the wait. You know, that episode with Ichigo after, you know, he breaks into soul society back you know after captain yamamoto passes away you know you really get captivated and you feel his emotion it nearly put some tears to my eyes because i just thought to myself like god damn this is that bleach greatness that i remember but guys what do you think what is your top three anime of the year let me know in the comment section below this is your boy jay unchained please subscribe show your boy some love because youtube be hating sometimes all right i'm looking out peace